It's hard to deny that church architecture has some impressive examples, regardless of religious affiliation. But unfortunately, many churches follow the thought process of the bigger the better, especially among the Catholic persuasion. So which churches are the largest in the world? Well, I'm Mike with List 25, and stick around as we count down the 25 largest churches on earth. But before we begin, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, join our Discord, and if you can, think of becoming a member. Oh, and uh, what's the largest building you've ever set foot in? Let us know in the comments. All right, with that being said, let's go. Twenty-five. St. Vitus Cathedral, Prague, Czech Republic. This Roman Catholic church is also called the Metropolitan Cathedral of Saints Vitus, Wenslaus, and Adalbert, and is the seat of the Archbishop of Prague. It sits entirely within Prague Castle, and is an excellent example of Gothic architecture. It also holds the tombs of several Bohemian kings and Holy Roman Emperors. 24. Yoido Full Gospel, Seoul, South Korea. This Pentecostal church is part of the Assemblies of God and hosts around 200,000 members each week out of 800,000 total members in Seoul. The church was founded in 1958 by David Yonggi Chow and Choi Jashil and started in Jashil's home. 23. Cathedral of the Nativity, Cairo, Egypt. This Coptic Orthodox Cathedral was inaugurated in 2019 and was commissioned by Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, President of Egypt, after terrorist attacks killed 27 Coptic Egyptians. At the same time, Fatah el-Sisi also commissioned the largest mosque in the country. The church and the mosque are in the administrative capital and symbolize national unity and coexistence. It's the largest church in the Middle East. 22. Abbey of Santa Cristina, Padua, Italy. This church was initially constructed in the 6th century, but the current form is from a 17th century reconstruction. It was dedicated to 4th century Christian martyrs, including St. Justina of Padua, whose remains are buried there. The remains of St. Luke the Evangelist are also there. Despite raids and earthquakes throughout history, the building withstood the conflicts and were returned to the Catholic Church in 1917. As a result, the Abbey and the Basilica now have the government status of a national monument. 21. Washington National Cathedral, Washington, D.C., United States. This Episcopal church is the sixth largest Gothic cathedral in the world. This church still functions and holds several weekly public services and programs. Not interested in religious services, but want to submerge yourself in beauty? Well, there are sightseeing tours and concerts available to enjoy. While construction started in 1907, the final stone wasn't set in place until 1990. 20. St. Paul's Cathedral, London, United Kingdom. This Anglican cathedral is the seat of the Bishop of London and is located on Ludgate Hill at the city's highest point. The original church at the site was largely destroyed in the Great Fire of London, but in the late 17th century, it was redesigned in the English Baroque style. As a result, it was the tallest building in London from 1710 to 1963. Many important services have been held there, such as the funerals of Margaret Thatcher and Winston Churchill, and the wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer. The church still holds daily services. 19. Cologne Cathedral, Cologne, Germany This Catholic cathedral is home to the Archbishop and the administration of the Archdiocese of Cologne, and was declared a World Heritage Site in 1996. It attracts an average of 20,000 people a day. It hosts the Shrine of the Three Kings and has an observation platform 330 feet or 100 meters above the ground, which gives viewers a gorgeous view of the Rhine. It's the tallest twin-spired church in the world. 18. San Petronio Basilica, Bologna, Italy This Catholic basilica is located in Bologna's main square, the Piazza Maggiore. It's been used throughout history for public and religious purposes and is dedicated to the city's patron saint from the 5th century, Petronius. Despite being an essential building in the area and one of the largest churches in the world, San Petronio Basilica is unfinished. Construction was halted in 1952 when the Catholic Church diverted focus to the Arca Ginasio, the first official seat of the University of Bologna. 17. Hagia Sophia, Istanbul, Turkey 
Some of you might take issue with this one being on the list as it's no longer a church, but rather a mosque. However, it was initially constructed as a Greek Orthodox church from 360 to 1453 when the Ottoman Empire conquered Constantinople. It continued as a mosque until 1935 and then was a museum until 2020 when it became a mosque once again. When it was initially completed, it had the world's largest interior space and was one of the first to have a full pendentive dome. It's said to have changed the history of architecture. 16. Basilica of Our Lady Peace, Yamusakro, Ivory Coast. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, this is the largest church in the world based on the largest exterior area of 30,000 square meters. However, it sits at number 16 on our list due to its interior structure and the fact that the rectory and villa are not strictly part of the church. It can hold up to 18,000 people, although most liturgies host only a few hundred. Construction was completed in 1989 and was accepted as a gift to the Catholic Church from the first president of the Ivory Coast, Félix Houphet boigny 15. Basilica of the Sacred Heart, Brussels, Belgium. This Art Deco-style Roman Catholic Basilica opened in 1970, despite the first stone being laid in 1905 during the 75th anniversary of Belgian independence. It's used for national and parish celebrations and has two museums with various expositions. But of course, the view over Brussels doesn't hurt either. 14. Rio de Janeiro Cathedral, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. What's especially impressive about this cathedral is its size and shape. This Catholic building is shaped like a cross between a beehive and a pyramid. On the inside, you'll see an impressive display of Technicolor windows. Designed by Edgar Fonseca, the intent was to resemble ancient Mayan pyramids. The colored windows reach up to 200 feet from the floor. The church can hold up to 20,000 people, the standing room only. 13. Cathedral of Our Lady, Antwerp, Belgium. This Catholic cathedral is a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its Gothic structure. It's also home to many significant works of art by Peter Paul Rubens, a Baroque painter. You can even get a beer in the courtyard and enjoy the gardens if you visit. 12. Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe, Mexico City, Mexico. This Catholic church is dedicated to a sighting of the Virgin Mary in Guadalupe. Each December, roughly 9 million people visit the sanctuary for a celebration held for St. Mary. This is almost half of the 20 million annual visitors. 11. Ulm Minister, Ulm, Germany. Not only is this Lutheran church one of the largest, but it's also currently the tallest. On a clear day, you can climb up for a gorgeous view of the city and the Alps. Well, all you need to do to climb to the top is just, you know, climb 768 steps. Eh, no biggie. While construction started in 1377, it wasn't completed until 1890. The spires represent the way to heaven. They're very slow at building churches, I've noticed. 10. Basilica of Our Lady of Pillar, Aragon, Spain. While Virgin Mary has a few mentions on this list already, this church was the first to be dedicated to her. She appeared to the Apostle James while he sat in prayer along the Ebro River. Not only did she pop by for a visit, but she also gifted him with a pillar, a wooden statue of herself, and instructions to build a church. While the church has changed and expanded over the centuries, the pillar and the statue remain intact today. 9. Basilica of St. Paul Outside the Walls, Rome, Italy. No, Paul isn't outside the walls, but the church is. It's technically in Italian territory, but Italy recognizes that ownership belongs to the Catholic Holy See. It was founded by Emperor Constantine I over the burial place of Paul of Tarsus. 8. Church of the Holy Trinity, Santarém, Portugal. We've covered a lot of old church architecture on this list, and this next one is different. It's new. How new? Well, it was built between 2004 and 2007. This church has an oval design and can hold about 9,000 worshipers. It's the largest church in Portugal. 7. Liverpool Cathedral, Liverpool, United Kingdom. We've already included the tallest church on this list. Next is the longest. This cathedral spans 189 meters in length and still has a peak of 67 meters high. Other impressive features of this church include a colorful interior and a grand pipe organ with 10,268 pipes. Woo! 6. Basilica of Our Lady of Lichen, Konin, Poland. 
This impressive church, completed in 2004, is full of symbolism. It has 365 windows, 12 columns, and 52 doors, representing the years, days, months, and weeks. It also has 33 steps leading up to the church, meaning the 33 years of Christ on Earth. I'm older than Jesus? Huh. Who knew? Probably a lot of people. Five, Milan Cathedral, Milan, Italy. This Catholic church has 135 spires, each topped with statues of prominent figures in Italian history, along with one of the Virgin Mary at 108.8 meters high. It took five centuries to complete and can accommodate 40,000 worshipers at any time. Four, Cathedral of St. John the Divine, New York, United States. This is the largest Anglican cathedral in the world and is home to the largest stained glass window in the U.S. and fifth largest in the world. The main door is made of bronze and is adorned with 48 relief panels. 3. Seville Cathedral, Seville, Spain. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is the third largest church and the largest cathedral in the world. It was built to commemorate the wealth and power of Seville and the Almohad Mosque's site. There are also 45 carved wooden scenes of the life of Christ. 2. Basilica of the National Shrine of Our Lady of Aparecida, Aparecida, Brazil. This church is yet another established in honor of the Virgin Mary. The story goes that a group of fishermen pulled up two separate pieces of a statue of Mary. They took it and housed it in a shrine. The current church was built on the spot where the original shrine stood. It can hold 45,000 worshipers at a time. 1. St. Peter's Basilica, Vatican City. Coming in at number one is St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. It's not too surprising as it's the most important church in the Roman Catholic faith. The original cathedral was built by Emperor Constantine in 320 CE. The dome, which is 41 meters high, was designed by Michelangelo, and the basilica contains 100 tombs, including that of Roman Emperor Otto II. Oh, and uh, to quench my own personal curiosity, I decided to look up the largest synagogue in the world, because, you know, Jewish. And after just a quick Google search, it seems like that title belongs to the Great Beth Midrash Ger in Jerusalem. It has seating for up to 20,000, with an area of about 81,000 square feet, and that is just the sanctuary. The entire structure has an area of 380,000-ish square feet. Oh my. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so like before, like, share, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, join our Discord, and become a member if you can. Thank you guys so much. I love all of you, and I'll see you next time. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.